Hi, I'm Tyrone Savage. And I'm Dylan from Bonche. We're the kids from Wind in My Back. Wind in My Back is basically a story about a family in the Great Depression. That's right, and today we're going to be showing you behind the scenes. So let's go. Yeah. Acting the role of hub for me is basically two different worlds. We have this world, which is 1998. And then we have the interior world, which is all in the studio. And then we have the exterior world. Set of window my back. They shoot in Toronto, Ontario. And basically, what looks real on TV is not real at all. They have one side. And the other side. Wardrobe and my wardrobe. Two whole different worlds. But they can make it look real by the magic of television. This is New Bedford from the outside, and this is New Bedford from the inside. As you can see, it's just one wall there. It's just a fiber of wood. This food looks tempting, doesn't it? Well, if you try it, it's been there for three years. Ooh. The mine. The Bailey Mine. My character is getting more and more involved with this. It's supposed to be miles away from town, but actually it's right on the back lot. Cement, see? If I walk over here, I'd prove to you. Director Stefan Scani, this is the back lot. It's all fake. <laughs> other half of New Bedford. This is the hotel where we live. Let me show you a bit more. This is where we live. Let me show you what the inside looks like. Pretty barren, isn't it? There's a studio inside where we shoot all the interior shots. Let me show you what it looks like. Now we're inside of the studio. This is one of our sets. It's basically just flats held together by wooden glue. They're supported by these cement blocks. It doesn't look like much, but let me show you the inside. This set is for used for three things. The schoolroom, the gym, and the auction hall. It looks pretty barren now, but when the set decorators get at it, it looks pretty cool. This is a craft drug. It's one of the places that we eat. We come here to relax, you know, chew on food a bit. You know. We also have, uh, what is it, three, hour, three hours after call we have? Uh... Yeah, I come in, I cook breakfast for them all, and after the third hour that they've been here, I have to give them all a hot snack. Then, of course, I got a few hours off because the caterers come in and feed everyone lunch. Good and lunch. That's I... six hours after call. And then I have to feed them the rest of the night, which goes on for hours and hours. <laughs> Far too long. The catering service is... um. It's like if you've ever been to a wedding or anything, it's kind of the same style, except the wedding might be slightly better. But, you know, this is a great place. You've got cappuccinos, hot chocolate, whatever you want. I've got everything here. You name it, I've got it. I can make it for you. Hi. This is where I start the day. Right here. It's where it all begins. The driver drives up here, drops me right here. I walk into my dressing room. It's our home away from home. Couch to relax on, you know, desk to do whatever on, clothes are hung here. It's great. It's our home away from home. This is the carp shop. All the sets you see are made here, like the Bailey residence, the hotel. Ten guys work in here and there are another 65 that work on the rest of the set. Along with the actors, they make the show happen. Oh, <laughs> hi, this is um, wardrobe, uh, where we keep all our wardrobe. All the clothes they have to make since it's the 1930s, and most of the time, they have to make them in doubles. See, because if I get something on my shirt, say food, I have to take this one away with the food and get me to wear this one. 
Anyhow, as you can see, there's tons of it. And over here is the fitting room, the ironing room, the designing room. This is an award-winning designer, Ruth Secord. Most of you probably wonder how we do schoolwork on the set. Well, let me show you. We actually have a schoolroom right here. This is my tutor, Carla. Hello. We get a lot of, a lot of stuff accomplished in here. We have my work desk over here. We have Carla's work desk over here. We have my math book. Uh, basically a regular schoolroom. Let me show you where Dylan does his work. It's over here. Follow me. Instead of doing schoolwork, He lifts weights. Bad boy. Yes, you do. Okay. Why are we always fighting on this? I don't know. Aww. Where are you, Mike? Where's Mike? Can you point you want? Oh, boy. Yeah. Ronnie, drive me left a little bit. Yeah, thank you. Right. And, give me a second. And, action. Fat? I'm watching him for Maisie. Max said it was okay if you said it was okay. Is it okay? You have to look after him as long as he's here. Oh, great, you're home. Zach's down. I'll eat when I get back. Why, you're leaving? Second Tuesday of the month, staff meeting, remember? Bye. Well, stop reading things on the Fat, you too. I have to go out in about half an hour, so I need you both to babysit. Are you asking us or telling us? Take your sister and get her cleaned up for dinner. Pop! What? Can you set the table while I go get changed, please? Is she mad at us or something? Hey, you goofy bird. I'll take Violet and you set the table. Come on, Violet. What'd we do? We hope you've enjoyed your behind-the-scenes look at how we make one in my back. It's hard work, but it's great seeing the finished product. I guess that's a wrap. No kidding. See ya.